Welcome to Value Investor TV podcast. This is episode number four, Purpose, Purposes of Company. My name is Becco and Hari are with us today. And we're going to talk about what is the purpose of a corporation. But before we do that, I want to kind of briefly mention what we talked about in the previous episode. On episode number three, why invest in companies? We talked about different areas, different vehicles through which you can invest your money. We talked about real estate, gold. But really, we ended up with this conclusion that company is the best place to put your money. And the reason for that is largely threefold. One is because companies are dynamic. They can move. They can adopt a different environment. Number two, they have very well-defined cash flow, which allows us to predict or actually allows us to define intrinsic value, assess the intrinsic value of, of for that company. And then, large, and, and then lastly, companies operate in a marketplace. Uh, there's a you know, stock market, um, essentially. So those are the three reasons why we touched on, um, th- those are the three points that we touched on uh, in the last previous episode. And today, <coughs> in this episode, we want to talk about what is the purpose of a company, right? So Hari, why do companies exist and what is, what is, a, what is the mission of a corporation? So when you look at... Um Why does anybody start a a business, whether it's a small business or they intend to make it a very large one, is ultimately they start it because they want to make a profit, right? Because the owner of the business wants to, you know, make money, right? And that's, you know, kind of the American dream and all these other, you know, kind of Mm -hmm. things, right? So imagine if you started a hot dog stand, Mm -hmm. right? Um, You know, that would be something that you could, you know, you know, you do with maybe you really like hot dogs and maybe that, you you know, you want to have, uh, you know, y- you think hot dogs are the great American food and <laughs> you have all these, you know, you know, kind of notions about hot dogs. Right. right? But ultimately, at the end of the day, you want to make money, right? That's it. it. Yeah. If you don't make money, guess what happens? Y- your business goes under mm-hmm. and, you know, what what you all the money you put into it is, is gone and so on. So ultimately, this is, you know, the companies exist to make money for their owners right Mm -hmm. and that's different from the employees and you know other people in the you know in the business Mm -hmm. the people who work there versus the people who own the business right and if you own the business you would ultimately take that money out of the business to you know pay yourself or maybe you put it back into the business to grow it into you know to make a bigger business and 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 so on Mm -hmm. but ultimately there is without a profit without some level of money that comes out of it that business won't really live you know we exist right right Kind of the last point you touched on the dynamicism of the company, allowing you to make profit, and with that profit you can put it into different areas of the business to grow more and more and more. Right. Um, that's what Amazon did. That's what all these different companies did. Yeah, and and that means that your your mission may change over time. You may grow into some new area. You know, Amazon started selling books. Then they started selling other things. Mm-hmm. Now they sell web services, and now they make movies, and now they sell, you know, all these other things. Right. So, I mean, ultimately, though, they exist to make a profit mm-hmm. for their owners, right? And those owners happen to also be shareholders, mm-hmm. right? Uh, so, you know, this this concept is, you know, is I think everybody understands it, you know, on the surface, right? But really think about it from the perspective of every investment you ever make, every other thing that you think about, Think about everything like you're an owner of the business, mm-hmm. uh, and that that has a huge impact on you know how you behave mm-hmm. you know going forward. Right, and we're going to mention uh, this hot dog stand that, that Hari talked about. We're going to mention this hot dog stand as an example of, of this. Right, I want you guys, the listeners, and us too. We're frankly we're learning as we do this as well. We what we want us to do, you guys included, obviously, to do is think like an owner, like Hari mentioned, because stock is so easy to think as if this is just a the piece of paper right it, it's your when you purchase a stock you seem so detached from the actual company but really you're buying a piece of company let's be honest about that i mean that is that is what it is it's a piece of piece of a company that you buy when you purchase a stock and so as an investor you need to look at every investment opportunity as if you are buying the entire company as if you as, as if you're buying some some part of the company yeah, and I think that aspect of it, the the part of being the owner of that and thinking about it like an owner, you know, the companies that make the most money in the investment universe are ones that have owners that 
you know, uh, that manage the business as if it were their own, mm -hmm. right? And in many cases, it is mm -hmm. their own business that they founded and created and so on. And those are the ones that are the most successful because they feel attached to making sure that the profits are the highest. And because if you have a person who's a hired gun CEO, you know, they can go on and move on to something else, you know, but you don't, uh, as a owner of a business, you don't want to lose. So you, you know, you do the, take the steps to make sure uh, that your business ex is successful, mm -hmm. right? And that, you know, that goes back to the, you know, parts that we were talking about earlier with intrinsic value, mm -hmm. right? Is you want to make the value of the business increase so that you can ultimately either sell it for a higher price or, you know, or just continue to grow that business to make more money. The owner has to be the one, you know, you have to think like an owner in order to do that. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why you hear a lot about these, you know, on the you know CNBC and other other places, short term versus long term, but companies ha that think about things because they invest it for the future are the ones that ultimately reap the rewards of that investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want to I want to mention a book that we read called Outsiders, which basically nails on that point, which is you look at you look at. I don't know, it's like eight or six or it was uh, several companies that, m that are mentioned in the book where the CEOs of that company are, are, are value investors in essence. What they do is they go in or they may, may have started the company uh, and they look at the, the situation objectively and say, okay, what I can t have this, I have X amount of profit. How much, where should I allocate that money to? So it's really about capital allocation where does it make the most sense to put this money in so I can generate more capital moving forward and having having a long term vision of it? Right. And when you look at it from the perspective of, um, you know, that capital allocation that you talked about. So they're thinking like owners. Right. We we were thinking about this last topic. We were talking about real estate, mm -hmm. art, you know, other areas, gold. So imagine if you if you ran this hot dog stand and you generate some profit. Well, where could you? Uh, reinvest that profit mm -hmm. you know could you you could certainly go back and buy m real estate mm -hmm. you could buy gold mm -hmm. you could buy other things right? <laughs> you know with that money right but but is that the best use of the money that you're you know that you have exactly. right and so that's the you know that's kind of the concept that we're really talking about here is where do you put your money in these in these situations mm -hmm. well great um so today's topic just to recap was purposes of the company well, the main purpose of the company is, first and foremost, to make money. We talked about that. We talked about the intrinsic value again. Uh, intrinsic value being the, the cash you're able to generate um, out of a business. And lastly, with very important, but very importantly, you have to think like an owner to be a good investor. And that's why we bring up Hot Dog Stand, and we'll mention that in the future episode as well. Well, thank you, everybody. I'll see you on the next one.